Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create AI notebooks from start to finish and a way that you might be able to stand apart from the competition. The reason I am doing the tutorial for this particular product is because it is one of the main products that I'm focusing on on my brand new hybrid shop that I've opened up on Etsy. And if you don't know what um, a hybrid shop, it is just a print on demand shop combined with digital products as well. And if you'd like to know more about how I have chosen my new audience or my niche, be sure to check out those videos that I will have linked here below in the description after this video. So the first step that I have taken is in the search bar on Etsy, I have just typed in the keyword notebook. I also went down to all filters and I changed this to be physical items since this will be for a physical print on demand product fulfilled by Printify. And then I checked the star seller box here and hit apply. And then up here in the RL bar, I have changed star seller to best seller and I've done this several um, other times in other videos just to grab all of the bestseller results so that I know what I need to be designing for as far as what level of design is out there and what is currently selling the most. So now that I have bestseller and physical items checked, I have just sorted by top customer reviews. And a lot of these that I saw were either the leather type um, engraved journals, which that is not the type that we will be creating for. The um, product that I chose in Printify is the spiral bound notebook because as I saw here on Etsy, the print on demand style of the bestseller ones that I found are spiral bound and lined and you can tell kind of if they're more print on demand style or if they are um, more custom. This is probably very specific as far as what's included in it since it's a wedding planner book and then it is customized with the couple's names. We're not looking at products like this. These are leather products um, but more so ones like this where it is a single image on a spiral bound notebook or something like this and kind of just going through the first page of results to see what is actually the best selling items for this particular category. And right away I could tell that there were a few things that seemed to be common amongst all of these bestseller uh, notebooks and it was that they were either custom, meaning the design was completely custom, the customer could request a specific design, or they had design elements along with a customization option for a name, or they were simply just a color with the option for a name, though this one is an engraved one. The other thing that I saw was that there seemed to be a lot of skull type designs and um, more gothic themed is what I would call them. Some of these are stickers, so I don't know why they're on here. This one probably is themed towards a teacher. And so when I went ahead and took my research a little bit further to actually analyze these stores to see the types of income that they were bringing in, I was pretty surprised that a lot of them um, were making the majority of their income off of these types of notebooks. I pulled up the shops here in Allura. Uh, this one is estimated to have brought in 5.78 million, though they do have other types of products in their stores. A majority of them were from, or the majority of the sales did come from notebooks. This one is 1.6. This was the personalized birth flowers one, or no, this one was, sorry. And this is at 283,000 total revenue. But what I also did was while I was on this first page of results was go ahead and use my Everbee extension to see the product analytics and sort by the monthly revenue to get a sense for what some of the print on demand style notebooks were actually selling for. So here are the skull type themed or gothic type things and you can see that these individual listings were bringing in 3,600, 3,240, 3,150, 
2490. So on the first page alone, several of the same shops designs and they were not customized were bringing in well over ten thousand dollars on simple um, artwork type notebooks so now that i've seen the type of notebooks that are ranking on the first page as bestseller items i kind of wanted to take a little bit um, of inspiration from my own shop since I have done a lot of skull themed designs and see if there was anything that I could make into a design for a notebook that I think that would do well compared to what was selling on that page and then add in a customization option. So since a lot of them themed towards reading or seemed to be three, uh, themed towards reading, I went ahead and am going to kind of remake this one, which um, is a Tumblr design that has done very well for me, and see if this is something that people would like as far as a customized notebook with this type of style. So I am just over in Mid Journey now, which is my favorite AI image generator. You are more than welcome to use any image generator that you are comfortable with, or you can even use a tool like Creative Fabrica, and I'm sure you could find any type of element um, that you are looking for. Since this is a print on demand product, you'll want to click on the print on demand tab here, and then do your search for the type of notebook or style that you are creating for. So in Mid Journey, I've just typed in the type of style that I'm looking for along with on a white background and I've went ahead and it took me a few different variations before I found one that I liked, um, but I went ahead and chose this one. I have downloaded this and I did upscale it in the Gigapixel AI tool by Topaz. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it over in Kittle, which is where I will finish editing this design. So once I'm over in Kittle, I am just going to check the exact dimensions for the notebook that I am designing for in Printify specifically, so I know what to create my canvas at. It is 1810 by 2534, so over in Kittle, I will just click on New Project and then put in those specific dimensions. So now that I have my canvas set to the correct size, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my skull, which I did here, and then add it here. Then I'm going to click on this AI background remover tool, which will just remove the background so that it is a transparent image. And now I'm just sizing it up to fit the majority of the page. You can kind of see here that it did leave a little bit of the watercolor elements. So instead of trying to remove this or erase it, a thing that I like to do just to easily fix it is just add additional elements, which it kind of just makes your design a little bit more unique anyway. And so I'm just going to go ahead and search for watercolor flowers, something that will match the overall theme of this design already and see if I can cover it up without having to erase it. So I like this one the best just because it matches the overall aesthetic of this design and I'm just gonna layer it here and shrink it down a little bit just like that and then bring another one over here to cover this side up that all of the results were a little bit witchy or celestial type themes I'm gonna add a moon just because I think it will look cute on here and I saw a few other like zodiac astrology type journals. So this is something that could apply to them as well. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add where the name would be. So now I'm going to add the font that I want the name to be personalized with and I like this one and I've actually chosen it because I did 
find this font over in Creative Fabrica, which is going to be important in the next step for the customization option. And um, I will show you that in just a moment, but make sure that if you are choosing a font from Kittle or Canva or wherever that you are creating, that you can also find it somewhere where you're able to purchase the font um, and download it because this will be necessary for the customization or the ability to customize it automatically. And now I'm just going to download this and remove the background. It is already at 300 and I'm actually downloading this as a PNG, which will be used for my design in Printify as well as for my mock-up. And then I'm also going to download it as a PDF as well. And this is for the customization option, which I will show you in just a moment. So now that I have those downloaded, it is time to create the product listing within Printify. So I have clicked on the Spiral Notebook Ruled Line product. And if you don't have a Printify account, I will have a link to that in the description as well as an Etsy link if you've never opened up an Etsy shop in order to get your first 40 listings free. Those will both be down there. And the next step is just to go ahead and upload the design. So now that the design has finished uploading, I'm just sizing it down so it fits exactly how I want it to fit. It will give you little guidelines for the center, but I am shrinking it down just a bit so that there is a little bit of space on the top and the bottom. And if you want to check out how it looks like before moving on, you can just click on preview and it will show you exactly how the design looks mocked up on an actual notebook. So now that I am happy with that, I will click save product. And this is where I will be going ahead and adding in my title, my description and the shipping profile it will be assigned to, as well as my pricing. So the easiest way to go ahead and get your titles and descriptions is to look at Etsy and check out all of the keywords on the first page that these listings are ranking for and incorporate them into your own title. I would not recommend just copying and pasting this, um, but these are the titles that these bestseller um, designs are ranking for. So you would want to use as many of these that apply to your listing and incorporate them into your own with your own unique description. And so I've come back over here to E-Rank just to look at some of the other types of keywords that are being searched for. And while I know that a lot of these do look like they have a lot of competition, this is where you would wanna look down here. For example, this Cottage Core Traveler's Notebook, and it has 128 results, though it might not have a lot of search, but this is how you can start out with new listings is to find lower competition keywords, start out from there, and then once you are ranking for that, you may be able to be picked up by the algorithm for things like personalized notebook or a custom notebook. So what I came up with was custom notebook, skull spiral notebook, gothic book journal, celestial witchy vibes, personalized spiral bound notebook. I could probably do a little bit more research and find some more just to fill out the 140 characters, which I do recommend you do. But for now, this is what I am going to go with and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit this description just a little bit uh, to have the rest of the information as far as the type of notebook that it is. So now that I finished my description, I will be ass assigning a shipping profile. And if you don't already have these set up in Etsy, you can just leave it to automatically assign a new shipping profile. But basically it is the processing time um, that your item will ship within. So I've chosen 
um, free shipping. It will be one to three days of processing time, which is what this um, specific supplier had listed. And then I will be changing the price down here. And since I am listing this with free shipping, it will be a little bit more than what some of the others that I saw on the first page that did have free shipping. And then the next important step to do is to copy this SKU number, which is going to be necessary for the customization portion. We will need this number, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then next I'm going to click on hide in store just because I am not ready to publish this once I do hit this publish. I need to set up the template within Hello Custom so that it automatically fills the personalization part out for us. And I don't want this visible quite yet. So I'll just click save as draft. And then my next step is to move over to Hello Custom and set up the template for this. Okay, so once you are signed into your Hello Custom account, you'll want to go to the Connections tab, which will most likely be the first screen that you see anyway, and make sure that your Etsy account and your Printify account are connected. There will just be a button here that says to connect store, and you just have to be signed into your Printify account as well as your Etsy store and click connect. The next step to do is to actually add in the specific font for whatever it is um, that you are using when you created your design within Kittle or Canva if it is not a font that is already included within Hello Custom. They do have a lot of different fonts to choose from that you can match up within Kittle or Canva or wherever you're designing but for my design, I had wanted to use this font, which is in Creative Fabrica, and it is also already installed in Kittle. So I downloaded this font and then I added it here in to Hello Custom by clicking Add New and then selecting the OTF file and uploaded it. So as you can see, it is uploaded here. And now that I have that already installed, I will move over and create my template. So within the templates tab here, they do have a um, video here on how to set up each template for whatever it is that you're personalizing. But you'll just wanna click on add new and then select PDF from your computer. So this is why we also saved the design as a PDF from Kittle so that it would be editable. So once that is uploaded, you can title it whatever you would like, which can be just the name for your own purposes. Um, and then this is where you will add the SKU that we copy and pasted for from Printify. And you'll want to add each SKU if you have multiple variations. So say you are selling personalized coffee mugs and you have three different handle colors, you'll want to include the SKU for each of those here so that depending on which one the customer chooses, it will grab the correct product when it is time to send this to production. So the next step is to highlight the area that is personalized, which would be the name here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag that there in the center. And then this is where you'll add the tag. They have a tag for name, address, phone number, I believe birth date as well. But for some reason, the tag was not populating for me. And I did move in and out and try to upload it in various different ways. So I'm gonna have to figure out why that's not working as it was working earlier. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to pretend that we clicked publish and we selected name for the name fill that this would be uh, personalizing. So my next step is to mock up the design for my main Etsy photo listing since I will not be using the Printify ones. They will only be used as supplemental images. So I am creating a custom mock-up that I found on Etsy 
and I just basically searched up witchy celestial notebook mock-up to try to get one that kind of matched my design just because I've seen a lot of success with personalized or more unique um, mock-ups versus just standard ones. So since the new um, Etsy listing photo ratio is one to one, I've just been creating mine at 2000 by 2000. There were lots of mock-ups that I also found on Creative Fabrica that would have worked as well. The one that I just liked the most was this darker one here. So I purchased this and it was only like 96 cents or something, so very reasonable. And then I'm just tilting this a little bit so that the notebook is tilted just because I like the way that that looks and then filling it out to make sure there's no white spots. And then I have added in the PNG version of the design, which we saved earlier. And I will just go ahead and drag that to make it fit the canvas. And you just want to make sure that the mock-up matches what you uploaded to Printify as far as the design as close as possible, which this pretty much does. So then I will download this as a JPEG and upload this to Etsy. So now that I am ready to finish the listing and publish it on Etsy, I went back over to Printify. I clicked the little dots on the side here and clicked publish and sent this over to my Etsy account. Within the listing here on Etsy, it brought over the supplemental images for the notebook and then I uploaded the design right here. I have double checked my description to make sure it was here. And then the next step is to make sure I add my personalization field, which is just to click this personalization and then enter in instructions here that you want to display on the Etsy listing. So I'm just going to put enter name for the notebook here. And then I have put a character limit of 20 just because I don't want them to be able to put 200 characters and not have enough space with the, on the book. I've made sure the price is correct. And then I have added in my tags. The easiest way to add the tags is just to go by the listings that are on the first page and you can click on within the individual listing and scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see explore related searches here and it will give you some ideas of things that people are searching in relation to this. So notebooks, gold journal, dark aesthetic, moth aesthetic, moth notebook kind of applies not really um, and then along with what I had found in e-rank as far as custom notebook personalized notebook spiral custom notebook those were all tags that I added in here as well I have left my shipping option here as one to three days processing time though that could be adjusted depending on what I'm seeing they them process the um, products at. I have changed this to automatic so that it automatically renews each time and that I don't have to manually do this. And then I have turned on my Etsy ads just to get this on the first page as soon as possible so I can see if it converts or not or if I need to maybe work on a different design style. I will now go ahead and click publish changes and then we can see what this looks like on Etsy. So you can see how it looks as far as a product in real life. So here is the main photo listing and then you can arrow through just to get different versions of it, which I think all look really nice. And then you have the rest of your product information here and the personalization option here. I did leave it as optional just because I thought some people might like this um, without the name as well. So um, it is optional for them to add it as well. And that is it for this video. I do wanna thank Printify for sponsoring it. And if anyone has any questions regarding this process, be sure to let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.